Rachel. Rob. Corner pocket swing. Two zero. Rob. Corner pocket swing. Tuesday night. And we've done some Balboa and some Spudder. But uh, we'll do our Balboa bit. Our level two Balboa class tonight was about swivels and compression turns. So, passing my mind back. We did uh, come around, bum, 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 and we can go this way, dig and through, swivel, swivel, cross, swivel, swivel, cross, and we talked a lot about hollow swivel, the hollow options. We did some variations here, the one we focused on mostly was the swivel here, the swivel tap open, behind, pitch, through, and as a level one option as well, swivel, swivel, cross, swivel tap open, swivel, swivel, cross. I do those real slow. Yeah. So as your beginner option, swivel, tap, open, swivel, swivel, cross, swivel, tap, open, swivel, swivel, cross. And the level two option, swivel, swivel, cross, hold on, swivel, swivel, cross, swivel, tap, open, behind, pitch, through. So the most important thing about it is keeping your hips so that they are still going and it has the regular consistency of your swivel. Yeah. Leaders, we talked about maintaining the crease while you're leading this. Do some swivels yourself, maybe not to the same stream as your followers might be doing, because uh, you're trying to be stability for them. Uh, don't um, move this arm so much. Don't, definitely don't collapse it back to your own hip, because otherwise they'll feel like they're falling when they need stability. I don't need to move my arms much at all. Uh, I want to try to keep my toes pointing the same way as my knees and my hips. So when I'm swiveling, I swivel the whole thing. If you try to do your hips without your feet, then you end up doing like really gumby looking stuff. So <laughs> keep, generally in life, as in Balboa, keep your toes pointing the same way as your knees or maybe slightly outwards, never inwards. We had the compression plans released in this. We had two different exits. So we're doing quick, quick, slow rhythm and it never stops. Slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow, quick, quick, slow. Um, and notice that that dark side, when follower orbits, like in battle, we like to orbit. And it looks very battle-like to orbit with partner. Boom, boom, boom. The other option was the sliding doors. Boom, shoom, boom. Which is more like a throw out where we, we go that way and then we come back again as opposed to the very nice um, doo -doo 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 -doo, doo -doo 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 -doo. and now I want to keep my elbow with my hip, bring my bring my hand around, bring my follow around and we like collect and guide them continuously around the circle we join up and we can come in close and brace. Bars are also making a point not to collapse your frame, you'll have some air here, you're rotating into that and you're looking back at your lead. Yeah. We, we could spend a long time talking about just that bit, creating that nice feeling. Bum, 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 that slow bow. One, easy. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so that was our second option. Rather than out and ends at the end, you can lead us, join your partner in that circular movement with a couple of paddles and come into close embrace. Real smooth and circular. It's a lovely way to continue that rotation. Yeah. Um, we also did some slow bow on a very similar practice. Let's do a new video. Yeah.